The National Council for Arts and Culture has expressed its concerns about the worrisome rate at which Nigerian youths are leaving the country for greener pastures. The council is also disturbed by the rise in ethnic and religious intolerance in the country's social political space. The agency aims to set an agenda for the rebirth of Nigeria. Mariam Mohammed reports. They just concluded general elections, but in its wake, a lot of tension generated by the campaign and controversies surrounding the victories. Most politicians ran their campaigns on ethnic and religious sentiment, which fueled disunity across the country. A lot of the bitterness unleashed on the nation's socio-political space during NSAS uprising in 2021. Since then, there has been a growing army of youths desperately seeking for greener pastures abroad. This is why the National Council for Arts and Culture has decided to set the agenda for the birth of a new Nigeria of our dreams, as the agency believed the time is now because the nation prepares for a new government May 29, 2023. Culture, peace and national rebirth is a program the NCAC has organized in Abuja meant to set the tone for the birth of the Nigeria of our dreams. The time has come for us to address this particular minute, I will call it. There are the people giving us bad name. And quickly on this, if you have $5,000 now, it's times 750 in Nigeria. If you have 5000 in London, it's 5000 full stop. And you pay more taxes, you pay more everything you need to pay. So we felt we need to start to tell our youth. Speakers from all walks of life discuss the way forward. The group head current and public affairs TVC Communications, Babajide Kolade Otitoju, insists that a key component of building a new Nigeria is that leaders must carry citizens along and gain their confidence. Pray to God that God, we are investing our faith in this coming administration. Let it be the administration that will change Nigeria. And so let it please God to make true change happen. Not change, simply promised by the politician. Real change. There are a lot of Nigerians that are stuck abroad. The reasons they can't come home is because they don't have anything invested here or there. Most people come home with borrowed monies from the bank. So when they borrow the money, they have to go back again and work. The group wants Nigerians, especially youths, to be patriotic and united as things are not all bad in order to defeat negative forces against the country. Mariam Mohamed, TVC News, Abuja.